so Hannah, uh, how you doing? I guess it's your busy time of year. Are you like coming right from class or something? Yeah, I am straight from class. <laughs> what class? Uh, film, the history of television. Oh, that's kind of cool. They're going to say something boring. That's not too bad. Um, uh, what are you learning in that class, by the way? Anything cool? No. <laughs> not cool. All right, fair enough. Um, it's pretty cool that you guys are in the Sweet 16. That's happening on um, on Friday. You've been on a great run, ACC tournament. Now, you know, the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament. Uh, how exciting have these last few weeks been for you? Yeah, they've been, it's been really exciting. And, you know, it's been, you know, the season's been moving at a really fast pace. And so just to kind of see kind of how we started from the beginning and to like where we are now, it's truly exciting to, you know, how much we've grown. How about you? Um, first team All American, first team All ACC, Defensive Player of the Year. It's a pretty incredible list. Of the things you've accomplished this year, does one stand out above the others that you're kind of like, all right, that's not bad? No, I think it's all, you know, truly a blessing. All my, you know, accolades, I don't see one bigger than another. It's a pretty lengthy list, though, right? Like for a freshman, you kind of, you know that, right? <laughs> Yeah, it was, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot for sure. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, with that being said, like all American list is is you, Caitlin Clark, Paige Beckers, Cameron Brink, Juju Watkins. What's it like being a part of that group that's sort of helping elevate the sport? You guys are taking it to a new level. Yeah, for sure. I think just this uh, generation of women's basketball is just unlike any other, and so it's truly a blessing to be kind of one of five that's being recognized. Just being, you know, one of very few freshmen who kind of made that list. And so honestly, being a part of, you know, seeing all the women that have come through this game of basketball and how great they are to be a freshman and to kind of make that list is truly a blessing. What were your goals coming into the year? Did, did you map them out? Did you hit them? I'm sure you had a few. Um, no, I've never set any goals. I didn't have any kind of like standard of, you know, anything coming into college. Of course, I had goals, you know, my high school career and I, met every goal except for a state championship, but then I came to college and won an ACC championship. And so I guess that's that's better than a high school championship, but no, I didn't really have any goals set. I guess, so that, that makes up for not winning at, at Paul the Sixth. We don't have to talk about that if you don't want yeah, to. No, we don't have to talk about it, but <laughs> for sure. Um, can you tell me about, I, I read this interesting story about you and your trip to Madrid and people were like mm -hmm. chanting your name. Is that, what was that like? Is that is that true? Yeah, that's true. I have a Spanish last name, so I'm Puerto Rican. So kind of being in, uh, I guess, my backyard, sort of kind of with, you know, being around the Spanish people, they realized my last name was Hispanic. And so uh, they were, when I came out from the gold medal game, they were kind of chanting my name. Uh, I didn't speak any Spanish, so they were a little upset at that. But, you know, they were such a little dog. I, I'm guessing you were kind of blown up. Did you realize it at first they were chanting your name? No, actually, not at all. I was on the bus and we were getting ready to go. And I guess people were kind of saying their goodbyes to their family and their coaches. And then, you know, I hear them chanting and I'm like, are they like, I know one of my teammates asked, you know, what are they saying? And then they were like, oh, they, that's, that's Hannah's last name. And so that was cool. It's just, it's, it's truly a blessing to be able to kind of be recognized all over the world, not just, you know, here in America, but people from other countries and stuff like that. When's, uh, when's the last time you've been home? How long has it been? I was just home. I surprised my family after the ACC championship. So uh, I went home and kind of surprised them. That's pretty cool. Well, for how, how long did you did you make it back for? Probably not much time, four right? Days. Four days. Four days and we came right back here and moved back on the grind. Is your family traveling with you? Will they be in Albany or are they trying to make the trip? How's that work? Yeah, so they just they just left. They were here playing game. They were here when I was playing. And they'll be in New York too. It's about a four hour drive maybe. So it's not too bad. Yeah. That's pretty nice that you're, uh, you're pretty close to home. So you said you don't have any individual goals, but is the, is the overall goal for you guys to, to win the entire thing? Is that how you look at it? Or is it just a step-by-step -step thing? Absolutely. That's, that's always been, you know, kind of my ultimate goal since I was growing up just to win, you know, a national championship. And so, but now that I'm kind of in the process, I'm not looking you know, so far ahead, I'm really just taking it, you know, game by game and, you know, quarter by quarter. And so not looking too far ahead, but just focusing on them right now. All right. I got a couple of random questions. Do you want to try to answer these? I, I'm, my yeah. last name's Gallon. And so I carry around this Gallon bucket that's got weird questions in it. You want to give it a shot? Okay. 
Okay, yeah, absolutely. All right, let's see what we pull out here. Hannah Hidalgo. Um, who have you idolized growing up on the court? Growing up on the court, I think I, I, I always watched my cousin uh, DeAndre Vilmore. I kind of I always watched him growing up. Uh, just like his intensity, his like fire, you know, he would dunk and then he would just, you know, bring all this excitement. He was screaming, he was yelling. I, I watched that and I feel like it kind of fed into me a little bit as I grew up. I kind of, you know, wanted to be like him because I felt like he had so much confidence that I didn't have when I was younger. And so watching him growing up, you know, I wanted that type of confidence. Where did he play? He Rowan. He played at Rowan for okay. a couple of years. All right. Rowan's a good school. Good communication yeah. school. Um, all right. Would you rather hit a game winning three at the buzzer or come up with a game ceiling steal on defense? Would you rather um how would you rather be I the hero? Say I've gotten a couple game winning steals. Right now, I did the one in Spain and then the one at Florida State, so I got that. So I think now it's time for a game-winning shot. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, let's see what else we got in the air. Uh, favorite, favorite food? Favorite food? Uh, Chinese food, for sure. Yeah, that's a good Chinese choice. Food, you know, stir fry everything. Some dumplings? What's your go-to? Yeah, dumplings are like general toast chicken is the go-to. Heck for yeah. Sure. Person who taught you most about basketball? Um, my parents, uh, I was, you know, around them and they, they definitely built me and my brothers up in, you know, a basketball environment. So I learned everything from them. Good answer. Perfect answer. Uh, most difficult subject in school. I would say now it's math because they combine numbers and letters. Now, when we start to get to kind of that era, it's, it just went downhill from there. <laughs> I was never a math guy either. Uh, a couple more. Most incredible place you've traveled thanks to basketball? Um, at Greece. Greece and Croatia. That was just this past summer with, you know, Notre Dame, my teammates and everything. That was so fun. Obviously, we played over there. Oh, and Paris, too. Paris, too. Paris is definitely. Uh, was that all being... the same trip, Paris as well? No, no, no. Greece was summer, and then Paris was right after that. That was the when we played South Carolina. That was that was so That's fun right. just being in Paris in that environment. That's pretty amazing. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, all right, we got a couple more. Are you a Philly sports fan? I am. I cheer for any you know Philly, Philly teams. I'm not too big on the other sports, but it's just like you know if they're playing against any other team, I'm cheering for them. All right, sounds good. You'll jump on the bandwagon, right? Uh, what are you watching right now? Anything? Binging? Love is blind. I just finished that one, so we're waiting for a new season, but that's what I'm on now. Are you a bachelor or bachelorette? No, too? I haven't gotten to that, but I hear so many people talking about it. I don't know. So many people talk about it. Me either, though. Uh, all right, last question. What's the last song you listened to today? Do you remember? Today? What's on? What was on the mm -hmm. iTunes, Spotify? I didn't listen to this one today, but the last song, the most recent song I listened to was Hosanna by Kirk Franklin. That was That's my most recent song. That works. Hannah, it's great to meet you. Good luck with everything, and uh, thanks for a few minutes. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you.